the more I push my opponent's head off center, the lighter this side of his body gets. Right, some key, key points about butterfly guard. I want to have one leg long and one leg short. This stops my opponent from stepping up inside my legs. What I don't want Peter to do is when I'm starting to play butterfly is to step one leg up inside here. Now I'm in trouble, I've got to transition to different guard types. So I limit that space by having one leg short. It's difficult for him to step in. It also makes uh, me far heavier on my hips. So another problem that we have with butterfly is our opponent lifting our feet up and us tipping back like this. Having one leg close to your butt makes this way harder to do. So the other thing you want to do here is to have decent distance with your hips. You don't want to be super close when you're not actually sweeping. To retain your butterfly, you want your butt away and you want to be leaning into your opponent with your head up here. This gives me time to deal with another one of the major passion options in butterfly, which is my opponent dropping under my arms or entering on body locks. If there's distance, I've got time to react maybe with overhook sweeps or by attacking my opponent's neck. So, the first sweep we're gonna do here, if we circle around and do my strong side. So, is um, a call tie butterfly sweep. So, we always call a tie with the side that our leg is close to our opponent. If I call a tie with the other side, it's got a big window of space here for him to drop into. So, call a tie here. Make sure that you're not wrapping your hand around the head keep a little platform with your fingers here and your elbow down. Again, limit in the space for your opponent to drop in. If I do this, he'll push my elbow up and start underhooking me and entering on his passes. So, collar tie. From here, we're gonna grab the tricep. If the hand's on the floor, simple way of getting this arm to your hip is to push the elbow first and then wrap your finger around it. It's very hard for him to base on this hand now with that twist. You see this a lot where people just try to yank in this arm out, pulling hard on the elbow. Dead simple way, fold, twist, and into the hip. So, here, push, here, rock onto your shoulder, moving the head off center. The more I push my opponent's head off center, the lighter this side of his body gets. So I can't sweep Peter when his head is in the center of his hips. Pull the elbow, move the head off center, rock onto your shoulder here. Now, key points, I lift my butterfly hook at the knee, okay? I do not move up to the inside of his hip because he'll start collapsing down into smash passes. Your foot stays alive under your opponent's knee. You do not overextend this leg. From here, my lower set of toes comes under my heel and I start kicking off of these to elevate my hip onto my head here. Now, I only extend my leg to follow my opponent as he falls, and I complete my butterfly sweep into a full mount. So, here, heel close to your butt, head forward, engaging in the head fight here. Okay, your retention in butterfly is largely based around your head. Another thing I should mention is my opponent can't simply disengage here because of the threat of wrestle-ups, okay? If Peter starts to run away, I should be chasing him up into takedowns. So, collar tie, pull the elbow past your hip and shift the head off of center. Pull this elbow through. This is to lower this shoulder and lift this side of the body. We continue to fall onto our shoulder, lifting his knee up. We lift our hips up and then start to extend the leg as he falls and move into full mount. So there's your collar tie options from Butterfly.